All right, welcome back. We are, it's time for the Ernest Sports Golf Tip of the Week. My name is Greg Lee. I'm the PGA Professional here at Ernest Sports. And what we're going to do is we're going to sort of compare a couple golf balls today. We're going to compare the DT Solo, which is the inexpensive golf ball from Titleist, to the Pro V1, which is their high-dollar tour ball. And we're going to take a look at the difference between both the driver and the, uh, the wedge shots, which is where the balls sort of separate themselves. So we're going to start with the driver. We're going to hit this DT Solo, and we're going to look at the spin rates on that and watch the ball fly a little bit and see, see what we can determine from the, the comparison of the two golf balls with the driver. So again, the first is the DT Solo. All right, so we've got a uh, launch angle of about 13.9, almost 14 degrees, and a spin rate of 2,600 RPMs. Pretty good numbers there as far as those go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Pro V1 golf ball and see what kind of numbers we get there. Away it goes. And so here we are as we look at the launch angle, 13.6, so almost no difference there, 3 tenths, and the spin rate of 2,800 RPMs. So you can see that the tour ball and the solo, there's almost no difference um, off the driver. So now let's move to the wedge, and I think that's where we're going to see the difference. All right, so we're set for a pitching wedge. And we'll start with the solo. All right, so we've got a launch angle of 25.8 degrees and a spin rate of 7,010 RPMs. Now on to the Pro V1. All right, so now we've got, a, again, a launch angle of 25 degrees but our spin rate has jumped all the way up to 8,700, so 1,700 more RPMs per minute with the Pro V1 with the expensive golf ball. So what are we really paying for? We are paying for that cover, and that's the determining factor. So if you have trouble stopping the ball on the green, you can absolutely go to the, uh, to the more expensive golf ball, and you're going to get better performance. If that's not a big a factor, you can see when it comes to the driver, there is no gain playing the tour ball versus the, the, the less expensive ball. So let that be your factor uh, in determining which one you need for your game. That's our tip of the week.